Logan Kane here, and this is Bleed. Not sure if this is going to be an episode one or just a regular first look style pseudo look, you know, my thing. Storm the Duplimiter and take out Guppy, the slug like sixth beast, something, blah, blah, blah. All right. So, this is Bleed. I have played it a couple of times. In fact, I played it recently, but the video was screwed up for the recording. Yay. But here we are. We're this chick going around to kill all the heroes. I don't really know why. But there's these cats that seem to shoot fur balls at me. And I just drew a blank on what I was going to say. Switch the weapons. So yes, you start with these dual pistols, which is effectively an Uzi, as well as this here rocket launcher, which is pretty cool. Now her moves are, you know, she can walk around, whatever. But she can jump, she can jump and dash, and then she can do that three freaking times. So, and then she can wall climb on top of that. So she's very mobile. A bit difficult to control at times because, I don't know, it just feels awkward the dashes. Now, I almost feel like the dashes should be on a separate key, but I guess that doesn't make much sense either. So you press space and you jump. You press it again and you dash. Depending upon which direction you're pushing, so. <clears throat> but yes, this is Bleed. I may do a series on it, may not. Haven't, deci haven't quite decided yet. I know I said I was going to, but I don't... I feel like I'm gonna find it kinda hard uh, to figure out what to say. It, look at what we're doing. It's a bit of a bullet hell, but for the most part, it's it's just a platform shooter that you run around shooting things. And it's just me talking about whatever I think of at the time. Which, whatever. And then we have this here helicopter. I don't think you can destroy it here, although that would be interesting. Ah! Don't hit me with- Stop hitting me with your missiles, you bastard! Ah, yes, this guy. <clears throat> oh, she also has the ability to slow time. There's that time bar in the upper left. If it depletes, you have to wait for it to come back in order to slow time again. Otherwise, you can kind of tap. Normal game mechanics for stuff with bars like that. And I almost got shot. Thankfully, I know how this boss fights, so otherwise, I'd probably lose this fight. All I gotta do is just keep shooting him. Eventually he'll fall. That's his health on the bottom, and yeah, that last bit of health went away quick. Uh, Yikes, I thought it was going to be a bottomless pit. <laughs> How silly, right? Oh, there's bottomless pits. And then, here we are. Into Guppy. Who's probably gonna kill me, because I have no health. Yeah, that's... That's it. <laughs> I knew I was screwed as soon as he did that. I suppose I should read those, but... We'll switch to the rocket launcher. He shoots these little eyeball things out, and the rocket launcher does a pretty good job of killing them. But unfortunately, he also has a tendency to fire the little... A purple version of the hairballs the cats are shoot. That. Purple version of the hairballs the cats shoot. And that's very... Uh, they, you can't destroy him. And they shoot him too, which makes it more obnoxious. And these guys... They're, it's pretty easy, really. Oh, God. As I'm about to die. And there we have it. But yes. Those little eye things burst apart. Hey, well, you saw it. I guess I don't need to explain it. Yuckers! Guppy really let himself go. Doesn't he realize that nobody loves disgusting heroes? Oh, right. First time I tried to record this, I read that and thought, Oh, there's a story. And then I noticed, oh, there's a tab for info, so let's check that out. The Blob, Guppy, a charming and resourceful slug who starred in a popular series of collectathon games. With the help of his kitty pals, Guppy saved his family business by collecting discarded items from around the world and turning them into marketing, marketable products. He has since retired quietly to a large estate. Well, I kind of took him out. So there is a shop. Let's take a look at the shop. We can get a shotgun for 300. Basic shotgun, shoots short range, widespread. Flamethrower. Fast firing weapon that hits multiple targets and causes damage over time. I'd like to try that. Revolver. Fires semi-auto shots that gain speed and, po and power as they ricochet off walls. Wow, gains power as it ricochets off walls. Increase the energy bar. Cause the energy bar to recharge twice as fast. And increase the health bar. 
And of course, a laser rifle pierces multiple targets, plus most armor for high damage requires pinpoint accuracy. Remote mine. Sticks to enemies and surfaces. Press the middle mouse button to detonate. That's cool. Katana. A semi-auto... Semi-auto. Melee weapon that can reflect bullets with proper timing. That's what I want. That's what I'm going to save for. And it's... It's 1,800 away. Well, I guess it's 1,200 away. Let's go into the worms. Gibby and Stu. A brave pair of the of puzzle platforming heroes who prove that true love surpasses time and space. When Stu is captured by a nefarious exotic bait company... This fun is awful to read out loud. Gibby crossed land and sea to be reunited with her lover. Together they took down the evil corporation and disappeared into their fiery natural habitat. Let's get them worms. Normal. Cause hard is hard. Hard is really hard. I played it a while back. The slimy fifth beast, heroes of all time. Yes, I played it a while back. I only played the first level though. And wow. I played it on normal. And that was pretty difficult the first time through. And then I played it on easy. That was ridiculously easy. And then I played it on hard. <laughs> I'm afraid to go to the next difficulty level. Although maybe that would be a good thing to do with this this particular series. See if I can get through all the difficulties, but that would probably be kind of boring. I don't know. Maybe I'll do it as a secondary series. Alright. Now the first time here, I thought that was lava I was falling into and it terrified me. But it turns out it's not the case. Oh, and then there's boulders just kind of falling on your head. And not to mention terrain getting in the way. And the enemies shooting stuff at me. I can't imagine playing this on a higher, harder difficulty level. This, this particular area is ridiculous. And another thing I noticed, these monster dudes here, they look like flying versions of... Yeah, I die a lot. They look like flying versions of the, the mountain boss from Legend of Zelda A Link to the Past. I find it interesting, little segmented worm things. I guess it's, I guess it's easy to look like them if I'm thinking about them. Uh, they're all worms. So I guess a worm is a worm is a worm, maybe? But I don't know. It, I get the feeling that they got the idea from Link to the Past. And I'd like to think that, because I like Link to the Past. Probably my favorite Zelda game. I know, I know. A lot of people are, oh, Ocarina of Time, but I didn't even bother. I played it on 64 for a little bit after renting it. That's right. I rented the game from a local rental shop. And the only thing I really did in there was get the stick and then break it halfway and realize it was invulnerable after I broke the stick. See, more dying, but that's okay, because checkpoints, yay! And sensible ones at that. Ugh. I ate too much or something today, I got... got some bad smelling burps and... strong ones at that. Not, not the smell, the, uh... <laughs> Just... It's like a full-body burp. I... You know, I don't know how to explain it. It's just this full body blurb. That's that's the best I can do. And there's our first glimpse of the boss. Or boss is, I should say. Come on, Gibby and Stu. Let's do this. This guy was actually pretty easy. I think he'll be a lot harder on hard difficulty. But on normal, he's pretty much a little pushover. I don't remember him doing that last time. Huh. Seems to be doing more stuff than I recall. Ah, uh, that one I remember. That one caught me off guard completely. If I get hit one more time, I'm dead. Yeah, they did not do this little jump over me move. They did this, though. And you are down. As soon as I hit the other one, I think. There we go. Explode in a bloody pixels. Level clear. Points, 831. Difficulty, 1. Style, bonus, 1. Death, 0 0.9. I've been nice for... It, I, I, I. it must be nice for them to share time, the spot together. Once I'm the greatest hero, maybe I can find someone to share my spot, too. So that's it for episode 1 of Bleed. If you guys want more, let me know. But before I cut the video, I'm actually going to play the ball... I'm going to play the blob again on hard. Let's see if I can do this. But yeah, that's the end of the video. If you wanna, if you wanna quit now, I don't blame you. At least they don't show me the tutorial again. That's pretty cool. Now, if anybody wants to, hmm, 
What was I going to say? If anybody wants to see more of this, let me know. I'll make sure to... I'll include these as regular videos, too. The hard difficulty. Maybe I'll go through it all on normal, and then come back through on hard. I don't know. There's a lot of options I could make. Maybe I played it on very hard, because this seems easier than... No, 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 that's right. There's unlimited of these guys, and the fur balls are more in the way. It's... Yeah, the, these little flying eyeball things are just unlimited spawn. And I went right into that fur ball. I saw that coming. A little too late, but I saw it coming. And last time... Yeah, I've only done this once when I was playing on my own a while back. But... Man, I just can't get around this. Maybe I can just go up here. Damn it. There we go. I gotta get better at using your jetpack stuff. Otherwise, I'm never, never gonna get through these on hard. Take that guy out. Hey, I don't need, I don't need your, I don't need your shit. All right, checkpoint time. Awesome. Checkpoints are, checkpoints are win points. Now I have noticed. I didn't mention this at all. I probably shouldn't even mention it, considering this is kind of an extras. But as I shoot things, so long as I don't get hit, my score rating thing goes up. I can get, I've seen up to C's or B's or something, I'm not exactly sure what it is. It might just be score, but I'm not much of a score Nazi, so, yeah. And really, the only reason I'm doing this is because I just finished fighting those last two levels, and, uh, I lost it. <laughs> I lost it because I screwed up on my recording. I'm finally on my new, on my, I have a Steam OS box that I'm using to record these videos. I, I don't know if that's the best idea, but I, I re -enable, I enabled the Debian Wheezy repositories, which is what Steam is based off of at the moment, and installed Simple Screen Recorder and made a Troot environment to run Audacity at a decent version. But yeah, this guy actually gets harder here, too. He does his little, you see his little uh, machine gun thing? He doesn't do the machine gun thing in, in uh, on normal mode. Machine gun! But he's still pretty much just as easy over here. But yeah, if anybody wants to know more about my my recording rig, just let me know and I'll make a video on it or something. Wow, I didn't expect that to be able to hit me. But at least I get to start over from up here. Alright, let's go slower. Stop sliding that way. There we go, that's better. I shouldn't have too much trouble unless I just consistently screw up like that. Now, you might wonder why I'm not using the rocket launcher. It's just the rate of fire is too slow. With as slow as the rate of fire is, I just end up... Uh-oh, I'm dead. Oh, I'm not dead. Okay. As slow as the rate of fire is, it's it's just awful. So when these missiles are coming at me, I have no chance to survive their onslaught. Because he fires his much faster than me. Oh, God. <laughs> Didn't know what to do there, and I died for it. And her legs just kind of folded in on themselves in a backwards kind of way. That was disturbing. Do a little bit of acrobatics to get around that crap. Let's not get hit by his bullets that time. And let's fill him full of ours. Yeah! So far, so perfect. Ah! Get away from me! Yeah, he's... Oh, that hit me. He's taken a lot longer to take down. You may have noticed he went down pretty quickly just doing this last time. Oh god, thought I screwed that one up. Lost, lost sight of the mer 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 cursor, the mouse cursor. Jump! Yeah. So that's that's a pretty cool mechanic. I wonder if this is, ever becomes a bottomless pit on the harder difficulties. Switch over to my rocket launcher. Let's try and take this guy out. He's probably gonna kill me. But yeah, as I was saying, I I'm only doing this because I did the other I did the other two levels already on my failed recording, and and I probably went through this really really quick. I actually didn't set my watch this time, which is probably not a good idea. Neither is that. Once I once I ex once I break him out of his initial guppy form, he's not so hard. Oh gosh. So every does no he doesn't do it every time I go under him. Yeah, I need to bust him out of his fat form. Once I bust him out of his fat form, he can't really do the the red stuff as as terrifyingly. 
Yeah, there we go. Although they do, I think they do fire the invulnerable shots more often. Oh god, I'm not gonna make this one, am I? No. We'll get it, we'll get it. I've done it before, I'll get it again. Hey, that worked out pretty well. That didn't. Lost sight of the mouse. I'm glad it's a big pixelated dot. It fits with the art aesthetic perfectly. Come on, baby pop. Oh, don't do that. I'm not good at blocking that. Okay, so what I really need to do is fly around the room a lot and stop losing track of my mouse cursor. And I think we got it. We got it. He's down on hard. Awesome. Level clear. Points and difficulty and deaths. 0.75, that sucks. So where does that put me for the shop? Ooh, that puts me enough to get the saber. But I'll get that next time when people are probably still watching. Anyway, thank you all for watching. If you like what you see, do the subscription thing, do the like thing. It's all cool. Thank you much. Enjoy.